Thanks. Thank you so much. <clears throat> uh, good afternoon, good evening, Chair. Uh, my name is Christopher Leon Johnson. I know it's kind of late. Um, so I'm here to speak on behalf of myself, and I'm here to say that, yeah, you do, you do need transparency with the Right to Know Act, uh, but I have an issue with the fact that they're trying to engineer a lot of stuff toward the CCRB and toward the Inspector General. Um, I have my deal with the CCRB, and they're no good at all. Um, I think they work with the NYPD, um, e et al. Like they work with them close handedly. I think they're they're really useless. So to really hand like let's say you take the you want to give the data to the CCRB instead of the public, it is like counterproductive and it does no service to the does no justice to the public. The public wants that information to be sent to them. We want to see it. Now when it comes to that, we want these web, if, if that ever happens one day, I know it might get passed through this council or the next council, whatever. It, it happens, we want to know how can we access this information. It should be online and we need the direct access to the information, not going to a runaround, not going to a runaround and depending on sites like 50.8.com, 50, 50 they do a lot of good work putting out police, um, police records, but why do we need to go to a third party website to know about if a cop is corrupt or not? We need this to the public. We need this like on the NYC.com website, NYC.gov, I mean, sorry about that. Now. Uh, when it, like I said, when it comes to body cameras, that should be done to the public too. It should be all sent to the public. Um, like I said, it just CCRB, you, they just can't be trusted. Anybody, if you're young black Latino living in an impoverished neighborhood and you have to deal with the NYPD, you get stopped at frisk or you get wrongfully arrested or you get, um, like, you're, you get bars in your house. They find some stupid again to get into your home. You file a complaint, they, it just, it's just a waste of time. Usually it goes in the cop favor. And majority of the time, all the, all the CCRB could do is give recommendations. But when was the, like, really the last time the commissioner will ever say, oh, let's fire this cop because they messed up? That's really rare. So to be honest with you, this stuff got to get to the public. The public wants this stuff to the public, not to CCRB, not to Inspector General. The Inspector General is the same thing. They work with the NYPD. PD. There's just, just no point at all. Um, so to end this off, we, you need the right to know, you need these bills to be, to be passed and amended, but it should be steers more to the public and the public needs to know about this. And especially the people that need their hand to be held to access the information, they need to know more, especially the ones that have no computers and et cetera. Um, the ones that have to literally go to these city agencies and get the information. So I'm gonna end with that right now. I know we gotta go, it's, it's, it's late. I know you gotta go too. I got to go to an event in Brooklyn. So thank you, guys. I appreciate it. You can cut it off. Thank you so Enjoy much for day. coming thank and you. for your testimony. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank, thank you both. Mm -hmm. Okay.